In this problem, we have one force acting at B on the object, and we want to see what's the moment around axis OA caused by this force. So I'm going to write that as what we're trying to find is the moment as a vector around axis O to A. So it's to be a vector quantity about axis OA. And what we're given as extra information is we're already starting with the components of vector f. They're telling us it's 300i minus 200j plus 150k newtons. So we want a diagram of our situation. So we're already given the XYZ coordinate system. And we have this pipe that goes along the X axis. And then it goes parallel to the Y axis. And then it goes parallel to the Z axis down. And at that point, B is where our force is acting. So I'll rewrite here 300i minus 200j plus 150k newtons. So important coordinates we're going to need, first of all, uh, F is acting at B, so we're going to definitely need that. And we're looking for the moment around the OA axis, so we're also going to need the coordinate of A to make this a little bit easier for us. So writing these down, we're going to get um, the A is located at 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0. And B is located at 0 0.3, 0 0.4, negative 0 0.2 and O is the origin so it's at 0 0 0 All right, so those are going to be the relative points we're going to need to solve this problem so kind of go work go to the end step and then work our way forward to see what we need to get there so we want to know the moment around axis OA again as a vector so to do that, we're going to need the magnitude of the moment around OA, and we're going to multiply that by the direction from O to A. This we're going to be able to find. This we don't know yet. But remember, for moment about an axis, we can find the moment about an axis by taking uh, the moment about any point on that axis. So we could use the moment around point O, for example, dotted with the direction of that axis. Alternatively, because we can use any point that lies on this axis, we could also use the moment around point A dotted with u hat OA. So whichever one is going to be easier, most likely the moment around point O is easier because anything that involves the origin is going to involve slightly less complicated calculations here. So in order to get to this end step, we're going to need to know mu, uh, u hat OA, MOA, to get MOA, we're going to need to know the moment around a point, and again, that U hat OA. So this is where we want to end up, so let's see how we get there. So the first thing we can do is we can find um, the moment around point O. Or we can start with U hat OA. The order doesn't matter too much. Right, so again, this is going to be a vector quantity. So the moment around point O due to this one force, is going to be the position vector that points from the point we want to know the moment about to where the force is being applied. So this force is being applied at B. So ROB we're going to need, crossed with the force. In this case, we are given it already in component form. So I'm going to check that off. We have this in component form. ROB we do not yet have in component form. But we can find it very quickly. And again, this is the advantage of taking the moment about the origin. ROB is going to be easy to find. It'll just be the coordinates of B. So 0.3i plus 0.4j minus 0.2k 
meters. So this moment, expanding it into the cross product, into its determinant, is going to be 0 0.3, 0 0.4, negative 0 0.2 meters, and F is 300, negative 200, 150 newtons. All right, so we can expand this out. I'll leave the steps to you to, to go through. By expanding out this cross product, we're going to get the vector of the moment around point O to be 20i minus 105j minus 180k. And this will be in Newton meters. Right, so this we got, this we got, this we got. So before we go to the next step, we're going to need to know u hat OA. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it aside for a moment. Let's find u hat OA. So this is the direction that describes uh, standing at O, pointing yourself towards A. So we can find that just like we find other, all other unit vectors by using position vectors. So ROA is going to be A minus O. So that's going to be 0.3i plus 0.4j. We divide by its magnitude of 0 0.5. So this is going to be 3 fifths i plus 4 fifths j. So u hat OA we know, which means we also know it up here. We know these two things, so we can calculate the magnitude of the moment around axis OA. So that's going to be the moment, the vector moment around O dotted with u hat OA. So we have this information here. So 20i minus 105j minus 180 dot 3 fifths i plus 4 fifths j. We're done with this for right now. So going through this dot product, remember we multiply the like terms and the answer is a scalar quantity. So 20 times 3 fifths minus 105 times 4 fifths. We're going to get the scalar value here is negative 72 Newton meters. So what does the negative tell us? If we put our thumb in the direction of uh, from O to A, which is how we designate it here, along this axis here, it's actually going to be clockwise around that axis, which is to say, if we put our thumb in the opposite direction, this is the direction of the twisting around axis OA, with 72 Newton meters as its magnitude. So what we want, though, is not just the magnitude of this moment, but we want to express it as a vector. So now we can go to that last step. We found this, which means we found this. Last step here, expressing this not as a magnitude, but as a vector quantity. So as a vector, MOA is going to be negative 72 Newton meters, and we multiply it by this unit vector here. So 3 fifths i plus 4 fifths j. Scalar times a vector, we're going to get a vector quantity as our answer. So what we're going to get is negative 43.2i minus 57.6j newton meters.